Right, let's quickly, before we get in any more trouble, let's do the eye poll. who have actually got the big story. Exactly. Their headline is UK population is set to overtake France for the first time on record. It doesn't say when the record started. I assume it was quite some time ago, beyond three months at least. But the news here really is that 606,000 people have been the net high of immigration into the UK in the last 12 months. And it is huge. It's absolutely huge. No way you look... I mean, we always round these things up. There's a million people coming in. Um, for me, it is it's good... It's, I think it's a good way to illustrate the whole England versus... Uh, Britain versus France thing. France being two and a half times the size of the UK. And it, that they share a very similar population at the moment, 67 million people in England... Uh, uh, in Great Britain, sorry, and six... 67.7 million in France. Of course, France is going to go down. A lot of the migration comes from France and comes here anyway. Yes. So at some point, it's going to take over. That's basic maths, Nick. Yeah, well, it's a massive story. I mean, so 606,000 net migration. But the real figure, apparently, if it was calculated in the same way it was calculated last year, the real figure is actually 749,000. Mm. So it's a massive figure. A lot of it is these dependents of students, who postgraduate students have all these... They bring over half their family to do these basically pointless courses, which are just to get a Visa. So that's a sort of a, a racket. Now, it'd be 440,000, even without Ukraine and Hong Kong people. So, you know, people say, oh, it's, well, it's Ukraine and Hong Kong, have a heart. But it, it would still be 440,000. So it's a massive problem. People, people have tried to ignore it for years, saying, oh, you're racist if you mention it. I think now, Lewis, we're at the point, and I'm going to ask you as an immigrant, but we were at the point now <laughs> where it can't really be ignored anymore. What do you think? I think it can't be ignored, but I, I have a feeling that this could actually be a good thing for Britain, that all these people may make Britain a better place. We will look back on this, and uh, I, I don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> but, there is a, but there is a chance we don't know. It's the law of unintended consequences. You know, these are some quality people. They're people who made, make their way here. Listen, when I came to this country, no one thought that I was going to amount... Actually, they did think that was going to amount to much. Is and now I'm on GB News. So. Regularly. <laughs> Don't forget that Well, word. thanks for giving us the balance, Lewis, because obviously none of us really think this is a good thing. But you've given the balance there. I mean, but it, the thing is, Paul, there's a bit of a myth that this helps the economy. It grows the economy, but it also grows the population. So you end up in real terms without any more money. And I think it's been a bit of a myth that it, that yeah. it, that it actually helps the economy. And do you think, Paul, this is the end for the Tories, because this is a massive blow. They were supposed to get immigration below 226,000. They've obviously massively failed to do that. Mm. Do you think there's going to be a protest? Are people going to vote reform in protest? What's going to happen? I think it's the end of the Tories in the next 12 months anyway. I think you, you can feel those winds of change. Unless Labour start doing stupid things like talking about Brexit again, making it all about, I don't know, gender ideology, then they've got a great chance of getting in, maybe with a coalition with Lib Dems. I wish they'd stop politicising this story so we could have a proper debate on it. This has got nothing to do... As far as I'm concerned, and I think a majority of people in this country are concerned, has got very little to do with race. This could be, this could be 600,000 brain surgeons coming in. The point is, we don't have the capacity and the resources to cope with that level of immigration. So that's the point of the story. That's what we should be debating. Right, exactly. It's pressure on services and so on, and it's like importing an extra Glasgow, and frankly, one is enough, let's that, be honest. More than enough. Um, so, <laughs> throw in a quick pop of the Scottish, why not? My, um, kids, my kids are Scottish, or half Scottish. My cousins are Scottish. It was purely... <laughs> Comedy. It was, uh... I, I know Scots people. Yes, you're some of your best friends. All right.